What's up outdoorsmen, Greg here and today I'm talking about a tree saddle that is only 15 ounces. Right off the bat, first up, I have to say this is a 100% completely and totally biased review. I am one of the designers of this saddle so I happen to think it's pretty awesome. but. Just because I'm biased doesn't mean you have to be biased. I'm gonna explain how this thing works, why it's great, and then you can make up your mind for yourself. Did I mention this thing is only 15 ounces? I mean, that is way lighter than anything else on the market, or really anything else in history of saddle hunting that has the same features and comfort and adjustability and all of those things. Now the Mantis itself is only about 15 ounces, but I really wanted to check and see how light everything else was all together. So I threw the saddle, sis haulers, two of them actually, the micro fits, I threw a Lyman belt, a tether, there's three carabiners and two Ropeman ones in there. That's a whole bunch of stuff and it still only weighs about three pounds. It's pretty incredible. First of all, let me talk about the materials. We used mil-spec materials wherever available. Our mesh is super breathable. It's gonna keep you nice and cool during the early season when it's hot. I hunt in Savannah, Georgia where it's swampy and buggy and a mesh saddle is gonna make a huge difference for me. This mesh is the same mesh that's used in the US military's IOTV, the Integrated Outer Tactical Vest. Basically, it's body armor. The mesh is used in that it's literally been battle tested, and I myself use this overseas in Afghanistan and Iraq. So the mesh is super durable. It's the most durable mesh we could find. We also use materials that are UV and rot resistance and weather resistant and super, super strong, so we make sure it's totally safe. Besides using really amazing materials, we also came up with some unique ways of using the saddle. The first thing that we did is re-engineered the way the leg straps hook up. We eliminated all bulk and all weight wherever we could. It's a super simple hookup. It's totally adjustable. It doesn't get any easier than our leg straps. We also changed how alignments loops work. My background is that I've hunted out of a sit drag. I used the loops that were built into the sit drag for my lineman's belt as well. Scott Hamilton didn't like that. He's the founder of saddlehunter.com and he suggested we add dedicated lineman loops. So we reinforced those, we moved them as far forward as we possibly could. We made them extra large so you could clip in and clip out your carabiners super easy. I was actually not a fan of this to begin with. I butted heads a little bit with uh, some of the other designers. I didn't really like the idea, but in the end, it's better for saddle hunters. It makes sense and I think it's a great feature. We added a load bearing belt, so this is load rated to 18 kilonewtons. It's super strong and it will never fail you. Another big change we made was in the Molly loop attachment system. There's really no need for two loops of Molly. That just adds bulk and weight. And we figured out a way to do it with only a single row of Molly loops. Our system is super easy, it's fast, it's intuitive, it makes sense, it's strong and it reduces all unnecessary weight and bulk. The last thing I want to talk about is modularity. The Mantis saddle is the epitome of modularity. We couldn't even get the design team to all agree on the same features this thing needed. So we made everything modular. The mesh is great during the early season, but in the winter you're gonna want insulation, so we designed an SBW heater. Perfect for late season hunting in your saddle. And the beautiful part is it's modular, so you don't have to buy another saddle. Just attach it to the Mantis and then take it off when it warms up. At the end of the day, I think the Mantis is gonna be a huge benefit for you hunters that like lightweight, packable, mobile hunting systems. I'm so excited about this thing. Hopefully this helps you, hopefully it makes sense, and hopefully uh, you can find a way to incorporate this into your hunting system. You don't have to be an exclusive saddle hunter. Uh, you can still hunt out of tree stands and if you want, I mean, I don't think it's as good of a system, but you should seriously consider looking at uh, a Mantis saddle and seeing if it makes sense for your system. Thank you for checking out this video. Hopefully uh, it helped you. Hopefully you learned a little something. For those that don't have any idea what saddle hunting is, check out some of my other videos and you'll see me using it. You'll see some of my DIY options. There's lots of ways to get into saddle hunting. You don't just have to buy a Mantis, even though I think it's the best system out there right now. But hey, I appreciate you guys checking it out. Like I said, check out some of my other stuff, and we will see you guys in the next video, and you guys get outdoors.